With the new year will come a lot of new games. Today I'll be covering the new games coming to Roblox in 2021. Welcome back to Roblox Alumni. Let's get into the video. Number 4. Demolishing Ever thought about breaking stuff in anger or frustration but were unable to as it was either too expensive or too precious or the fact that your mom might have thrown you out of the house if you started breaking stuff? To deal with that, there is always an option of going to special rooms and paying money to break stuff such as plates and televisions with a bat. However, there is one major problem, especially right now, first of all, there is a chance that many of us don't have money to spare just to break stuff, and some of us don't think that paying money to break stuff is even worth it. Another problem is the sudden outbreak of the coronavirus, which has put all activities literally on a standstill and as it has suspended them all. Both of these things have possibly led most of us to have lots of pent-up anger and frustration all packed up inside, just waiting to be released in literally any form possible. This is a game that will help you do that. Following all the laws of physics, breaking things for fun in this game is both therapeutic as well as a lead to help release of anger, so it's also a mood to improve alongside it. The feeling of having things break under your bat and the satisfying crunch of the glass underneath the bat and your feet is one that should not be missed out at any cost. Number 3 Recoil Yes, this game is exactly the way the name makes it sounds, completely linked to guns. It is one person perspective gameplay that would allow the player to play on a server that can hold almost 12 people. In the game, the end goal is quite basic and obvious, kill everything and everyone that comes across your way and forge a path to victory. The gameplay is extremely smooth considering how it is just in its beta version, as well as the graphics are extremely well developed. It has super engaging gameplay and guns which work very very smoothly and have good ranges and aims. Moreover, even in the beta, there are no lags or pauses or loopholes in the story which is very fast paced and engaging for the players who are testing out the beta version. In simple terms, this is one game to keep an eye out for in 2021 as it may be coming anytime soon and you should be fully prepared to get your hands on it as soon as you find out that it has been fully released. If the beta version is so addicting, I cannot even wait to see what would happen to a version that is fully polished and refined. I mean, how better can things get? I do really like the uh the uh the call outs how it just like calls out people number two wastelander if you are a fan of apocalypse movies or movies which show alternative realities and dystopian futures this is the game for you so the creators and developers of the game are being extremely hush and secretive however a map trailer for the game has been released so far and let me tell you the map looks straight up amazing and perfect. It has a perfect representation of wastelands which are indicated by deserted areas that are full of dust and just tree barks and stumps with not a single leaf in sight. In simple words, the game gives insight to a deserted world that has very strong similarities to a world in which one would see if the earth was destroyed and just a handful of people were left. The part that builds up even more curiosity regarding this is the fact that we have no idea what it's going to be about. I mean, there's a massive table of options. It could be about zombies, or it could be about supernatural things, or maybe even an alien invasion. Will we spend time battling outer creatures, or is the world simply in a post-war phase after the countries have released their atomic weapons? Has biological warfare taken place? Will we be chased by half-infected and cancerous people who are full of physical defects, or is it going to be something else? The mystery clicking this game makes one which should be long awaited for, and should be especially checked out when it's released. Number 1 Mega Mech Mega Mech is a game about making a mech and facing different mechs in conflict. There are diverse game modes, campaigns, skirmishes, and trials. You get things and parts in a crusade and attempts to continue improving your mech. In encounters, you battle others to pick up your profile rating and hence climb your way up to the leaderboard and trials that change day by day, giving you the one free preliminary attempt for every day. You can pick and make your own choice regarding the trial that you feel that you need to enter. Every preliminary trial has an 8% opportunity to give you S1 level things, which are at present the most noteworthy and rare tier. Currently, the game is in beta mode and is accessible to all, so you can play and give constructive feedback on it, which would allow the developers to perform better in the final version and roll out a game which doesn't have any glitches or loopholes or anything which would make the players feel that they are having difficulty playing it. We, for one, cannot wait for this game. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.